Street closed with a knee injury. First quarter, game tied at three. Banks hits Isaac Cruz. Got a big new contract during the week, and here he's going to go. But watch Fields, a linebacker. Tommy, how in the world did that happen? You know, we had a feature this morning on Countdown on watching the Jumbotron, and you can see here you can actually make use of it if you're being run down by a linebacker. But how difficult is it, is it to run, Billy, with your head up like that? Think about it. Saints down 6-3, Torrance Small. Yes, yeah, small in there. Now, Tommy, Jim Everett, he can do some things we didn't think he could do. Well, Everett with a great block here on the end of the round. He gets a block on Marquez Walker. And look at him. This is not one of those typical quarterbacks falling down. He sticks his nose in there and puts him down on his back. That's a great block by Jim Everett. So the Saints are up 10-6. Now Klaus Willsmeyer punting. Robert Jones rejects it. Ah, I got it, you got it, who's got it? Uh, the Rams take over in Saints territory. Three plays later, Banks to Bruce, 10 yards and a touchdown, and the Rams go up 13 to 10. We're now in the third quarter. Everett, back to pass. He goes down, and he leaves the game with blurry vision. Misses a snap for the first time all season. In comes Doug Newsmeyer. Frep, Idaho! First NFL <laughs> appearance. When you're Frep, Idaho, this is what you can do. Scrambles. <laughs> Look at that great play to Mercury Hayes, 50 yards. Newsmeyer. Yes, Newsmeyer says, you know what, I can play in that Ashton Football League. However, Saints next possession, Newsmeyer back to pass, hit by Jones, fumble, Rams recover. Venturi, well, he is hopping mad. Four plays later, Harold Green, the one-yard touchdown, and the Rams go on to win by the final score of 26 to 10. So the Saints now have lost six in a row. They've scored 17 or fewer points in those.